why don't you use these windows hidden tool welcome back everyone so today i will be discussing about the windows inbuilt tool that majority of the people are not aware of they are not using it but these tools are really very important and every windows 11 or 10 user must know about it it's very simple to access you have to click on your windows search type windows tools in this suggestion you will be getting windows tool click on it now this will list you all kind of tool that are available with windows that you can use it for different kind of purposes so i will be explaining you the most important one that can be used in day-to-day -day life and during many kind of troubleshooting and optimization so first we will start with a character map so if you click on it you can use different kind of character so you can choose the font style from here depending on the font style you will be getting different kind of symbol that you can simply select copy and use wherever you want to like in the word notepad or any kind of other document so this can be really useful and instead of visiting any other kind of third party website you can directly copy the character from here next we have the command prompt that is a very important tool and i'm very sure that most of the people know about it so what you have to do simply click on it the black window will be up you can also directly open it from the search box by typing cmd and you can run it as an administrator so that you should have enough permission in order to run any kind of task okay so there are several things that you can do like you can schedule a shutdown like after 10 minutes 15 minutes or 20 minutes okay so it's very simple command you have to type shutdown space minus s space minus t then you have to enter the value in the second so let's say that if you want to shut down your computer automatically after half an hour then you have to enter the time in the second so let's say for half an hour it will be 1800 second so i will type 1800 but if you want to shut it down like in 10 minutes then you can enter the amount in second for 10 minutes okay and once you hit the enter key you will be getting this kind of message popping up and if i run the command again it says the system shutdown has already been scheduled so what will happen that automatically the computer will be shutting down like after half an hour similarly there are very important command that you can use like you can clear any kind of dns cache you can clear that microsoft store cache so i have already created a video on the important cmd command you can check that video the link will be in the description okay next we have the component service if you click on it you can find different kind of information like event viewer and you can find out that uh, what kind of failure what kind of warning error has occurred while logging in while running any kind of application and any kind of task so this is also an important tool that you can use it uh, but it's not for the common people it's only for the troubleshooting next we have the very important part that is the most important one that is computer management and if you double click on it you will find different kind of tools over here like task scheduler if you want to schedule any kind of task then you can go ahead and schedule it that will be running automatically without manually running it again we have the event viewer that we discussed in the previous tool then you have the shared folder that give you the information about all the folders that are being shared then you have the local users and group so if you want to create any kind of local account then you can go ahead right click here and create a new user or you can also manage the user from here then you have the performance option then you have the device manager so if you want to manage your devices your network or any kind of adapter then you can do it from here so let's say if you want to update any kind of driver like for network adapter then you have to double click on it look for the wi-fi or ethernet whichever you want to update right click on it and choose update driver this is also a very important tool that can be helpful for troubleshooting many kind of problem then you have the disk management now in the disk management it will list you all kind of disk that has been connected to your computer including hard disk ssd any kind of external drive or any kind of pen drive so whichever you want to manage you can manage from here like you can just make a right click on it you can shrink the volume you can extend the volume there are many things that you can do from the disk management 
okay now next we have the control panel so if you come to the control panel again you can create and delete the user account you can manage the user account you can go and manage the system and security like firewall bit locker storage spaces power options then you have the network and internet option that you can manage from here so there are many things you must be aware of all these options and this tool that can help you in the future in like finding out some kind of information doing any kind of troubleshooting or doing any kind of optimization then we have the defragment and optimized drive so if you click on it it will list you the drive the partition and whichever you want to defrag you can go ahead and do that okay you can simply select the drive then you can click on optimize there are many more options you can go and analyze it and if you click on the advanced view it will give you more many options and now in case if you need a detailed video on any of these tool you can let me know in the comment section then you have the disk cleanup so if you want to clean your disk simply select the disk cleanup option click on ok and it will be calculating the space let you know what all you can delete like all kind of temporary file all kind of cache that can tune up your computer so this is another important tool to keep your computer neat and clean then you have the event weaver that we discussed earlier then you have the hyper v manager so if you want to create a virtual machine like on your windows 10 or 11 only if you want to enjoy any other kind of operating system virtually like mac linux or any other then you can create a virtual machine from here then you have many other options like internet information service is csi initiator that is used for uh, connecting any kind of other server another hard disk so that you can manage the storage that is a different topic that is an advanced option so i think though you don't need right now but majority of the tool that i'm discussing that what you all need to know then you have the local security policy so from here you can manage the local security policies like if you go in the local policies you can manage the user right management allow log on locally backup file in directories change the system time there are many settings that you can manage from here then you have the performance monitor so you can monitor the performance that what kind of usage what kind of resources are being utilized it will give you all kind of detail from here so there are many more advanced options that you can use it from here only i won't be going in the brief because the video will be very lengthy okay but at least you must be aware of these tools so that you should know that for what purpose these tools are used now next we have the power automate option that is the amazing tool now this tool what it will do it will automatically perform your task and it will record your screen so let's say that every morning you open your file explorer uh, you visit any kind of document or you open your chrome browser or any other kind of browser visit all kind of website and you want that all these tasks should be done automatically then you can use the power automate tool and that will be doing every task for you there are many more advanced options there are many more advanced work that you can do through the power automate option now this will be a long video so if you want a dedicated video on the power automate let me know in the comment section i will explain step by step that how you have to use it next we have the print management and if you click on it it will list you all kind of your printer connected and from here only you can manage them you can delete them you can manage the profile so this is only for the people who are using the printer or for any kind of organization then you have the recovery drive so if you want to create a recovery drive then you can do it from here this is also recommended that you should create a recovery drive in order uh, to save your data to save your os okay so i have already created a video again this video link will be in the description you can check it out then you have the registry editor so there are many things that you can do from the registry editor like many kind of troubleshooting many kind of like you can install windows 11 on unsupported hardware using the registry editor i have also created a video on this that how you can bypass windows 11 requirement the tpm and secure boot requirement using the registry editor that link also you will be getting in the description or you can check my channel all the videos you will find over there now the next tool we have is the remote desktop connection 
Now this tool help you to connect to any other computer remotely that is connected on the same LAN connection. Not on the WAN connection but on the LAN connection that is the local area network. So this is mostly used in the office where multiple computers are connected on the same LAN connection and let's say that uh, you are a hardware engineer and you are sitting on the second floor or far away from another computer and there is any kind of complaint and you don't want to go each and every time for simple kind of troubleshooting then you can connect to that computer remotely by entering their username or their IP address. So this is really useful in the organization or even in the small office where there are multiple computers connected on the same LAN connection. Again you have the resource monitor so this give you all kind of uh, resources utilization like what kind of bandwidth is used what kind of disk are being used memory cpu so you can track all this information from here that what kind of usage are being done accordingly you can manage it like whichever application you feel that is occupying the maximum bandwidth you can find from here and you can close it then you have the run option that is a very common one i believe most of the people know about it then you have the services and here you can manage all kind of services like you can disable them, you can enable them, you can manage uh, their running type, you can make it to manual or to automatic. So if you want to disable any kind of service so that it should not run like Windows Update or Windows Security, then you can disable from here. Now next you have the step recorder and if you click on it, so it will be recording all your steps. So let's say if I want to perform any kind of task, so simply I will click on start record. I will click somewhere. Then I will bring up my settings. I will open the settings here. I will go to personalization. And now if I click on stop and review. So this will give you what all I did. Okay, so first I came to this page. Then I came to my desktop. Then I came to my settings. Then I selected the personalization. It's recording every steps that I'm doing on my computer. Okay, so this can be useful if you have any kind of issues and if you want to send the report to anyone so that you can show them that what exactly problem you are facing, then you can use this step recorder. Next, you have the system configuration. So here you can manage many things like boot option. You can go ahead and start your computer in the safe mode using this option. You can also manage the services, the startup. There are other tools that you can manage from here. System information, if you want to know about your system, like what kind of processor you are using, the secure boot has been enabled or not, what kind of RAM you are using, what kind of BIOS version you are using. So it gives you the detailed information about your component. Then you have the task manager that we all know. And then we have the task scheduler that we discuss in the computer management then you have the windows defender firewall security that uh, you can manage the windows defender firewall you can uh, close it you can turn it on you can turn it off if you want to create any kind of rule then you can create a rule from here so that any kind of application could not be blocked by the windows defender firewall okay then you have the windows memory diagnostic this is another very important tool it says check your computer for memory problem so if you click on restart now and check for problem and if there is any kind of problem with your ram it will let you know and even it will try to fix the problem so it's also recommended so if you feel any problem with your ram you can go ahead and restart your computer and let it check for any kind of problem okay then you have the windows powershell where you can use to run many kind of command with many run many kind of a script so these are the tools that can be really useful for you guys in the future for doing many kind of tasks and you must be aware of it and I have seen people many people using third party tool third party application in order to enjoy these kind of tool which is not required. So that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video bye bye.